Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with Brecher Trading. Week of October 12th, market outlook. What is this about? I think it's about inverse head and shoulders versus top of the trend line. Which one's going to win? We have a lot of news coming out. The markets have been shrugging it off. This is the first thing I'm going to be watching, this trend line. Now, don't get me wrong. Trend lines are an art, not a science. You could draw it down here or up here. But regardless, we're starting to test it. So just keep that in mind. We're going to watch that closely this week. The other thing we're going to be watching is the hourly chart. And if you zoom out, is this a big old inverse head and shoulders that projects all the way up to here? That's about 50 more points. Or... Is it even more? Is this like 150 points and that gets you all the way up to here? That's another 100 points. Now, that might take a while to ride it and we'll have to see what happens. That's what I'm watching is this inverse head and shoulders. Whether it's the SPX 500, whether it's the NASDAQ, you could see them. Now, am I set on this? No, there's tons of uncertainty. So the way I'm going to play it in here is I'm going to watch the big stocks. I know you're going to be like, yeah, well, you always watch the big stocks. But I'm going to watch for minute changes in those stocks relative to the NASDAQ and the ES. So if I see this doing exactly what it's doing, and all of a sudden I see the Amazons and the Apples acting like this, And you see Apple that looks similar to the NASDAQ, but all of a sudden it do that. Now, keep in mind, Apple has a, an event this week where they're probably releasing the iPhone. Amazon has Prime Day this week. So all, both of those, you see what's happening. They don't look bad yet. But if you go on even a shorter term chart and you start to see these break down while the NASDAQ continues up, That'll be a big tell that the NASDAQ has probably had its last gasp. Keep in mind, Apple, Amazon, Google, they just don't look bad yet. So while these aren't reversing, we're going to play a ton of stocks between 2 and 30. This is the third week of the month. You get a lot of options that don't have uh, stocks that don't have weeklies that it have options this week, have very little premium. We're going to try to play a lot of those. I have a big list on my uh, paid site. So just keep that in mind. So what are we going to do? Well, the first thing is I keep talking about the bonds. And the bonds look like this. They look like they're about to have a massive breakdown. Massive breakdown. There's one little problem with this. Number one, you do have the support in this zone. So the risk reward is, I mean, it could go to there. But there's a big thing to upset the apple cart, which was pointed out by one of my loyal subscribers over the weekend. I look at the commitment of traders that comes out every Friday, but I only look at extremes. This is an extreme. That's the commercial hedgers, the smart people. The speculators, usually the dumb people. Look how bearish they are. That's the most bearish I've ever seen them. This is the most bullish I've ever seen the commercials. Now, keep in mind, if you go to a weekly chart, you'll see the last time they were that bullish, you had one more leg down, and then you had a big bull market. You need to see this start curling down before I get massively bearish again. We made some good money in this zone, and now I'm being cautious. Look what happened back here. Big sellers, and they went straight down here. Yep, it sort of just consolidated before it got back down to the zero line, and then you could have another leg down. This does not mean a big rally in here. What it means is it's not time to just buy puts in the TLT. So we're going to back away that until I see these commercials on a daily chart start to get back to the zero line, which we don't have yet. So just keep that in mind. Now, you might say we've sold off even though they're bullish. Yeah, but not to an extreme. So you got to watch that. I just can't stress that enough. So we're going to watch the bonds as a tell, but we're not going to short the bonds this week. Now, I'll tell you, there are a lot of different commodities that the commercials don't work, but they do work with coffee. Now, I like that coffee is touching here. We got out. We were in here. 
We were in here. We were not in here. You see the, what I'm getting at. We have not been long it since the commercials have been that negative. So now they're starting to curl back up. So I'm watching these commercials very closely and the support. So in the next week, if I see this go back to zero, yeah, I'm going to get tons more aggressive in coffee. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing in here that everybody wants to know are the indexes. Like I said, the indexes as a group right now don't look bad whatsoever. This is daily charts of the U.S. markets on the top. The Japanese Nikkei, the Euro stocks, the DAX. You see nothing going on. The VIX got to its lower Bollinger Band, which is usually a bearish sign for the SPX, but we haven't seen any reversal. When I do anything, whether it's an extreme with, with commercials, stock twitch sentiment, uh, charts, I like to have three reasons. So I don't just have one. So if the VIX is getting killed, that's only one. I have to look for reversal candles when the VIX gets hit like that. So that's the first thing I'm going to be doing this week is looking for reversal candles. When you go into these charts and put in weeklies, what do you see? You have that big reversal here, and now you haven't had anything. You had sell-offs right to a support zone. The first thing I'm going to watch on Monday is are these going to fail at resistance? and start to turn over. That'll be a big warning sign for these. That's number one. Number two, what I'm going to watch is this. I'm going back to the ES, and I'm watching, and I'll tell you, it's been a broken record, but it works. These are the 31016 MACD. So that's been around forever. I use it not just to say, oh, it's oversold, buy it, or overbought, sell it. I use it for negative divergence, positive divergence, but I also look at when something gets oversold, how it works off the oversold condition. So if you go to hourly on the right, you're going to see that when you were oversold here, how did it work off the oversold? By blasting to a new high. If you're bearish, you want to see this consolidate. The other thing you want to see if you're bearish, you want to see the product. If you're trading on a five minute short term, fine, 15 hourly, but you have to see it under the ATR trailing stop. Usually then the oversold conditions work off poorly. As you see, it's been over the ATR trailing stop. It's worked it off great. Now you might be saying, how come the ES was oversold under the, the uh, ATR trailing stop? It did have a leg down and it had a leg down right to support. So now we're going to be watching this, just like I show with the trading view charts. We're going to be watching that. Is this going to fulfill an inverse head and shoulders is like this. Usually when I highlight it, it looks like Stewie from Family Guy. So we call it a Stewie pattern. So as you see in here, this projects to about here, which would also project to that trend line that I showed you right in there, about 35.20. On the other hand, when you get up there, you have very little resistance. So you have to look for either negative divergence or a reversal candle. Keep in mind that when you see those reversal candles, that doesn't mean you missed it. If you go back on a 15 minute chart, when you sold off, you then had a consolidation. So you're not gonna pick the top. The way we do it, we look for negative divergence and then you look for a trend line break. As you see right now, you can't draw a trend line yet. Yep, if it breaks down to here, and I'm talking about if you're a short term trader on a two, five or 15. If you're on a longer term, you wanna use an hourly or four hour. You're looking for this. If you're trading on 15 minute charts, you wanna see that trend line and you wanna see it develop. We don't have that yet. How about on a five minute, do you have it? No, actually you had a bull flag. So I'm just telling you until proven otherwise, until you see the reversal candles, I have to lean toward finding long stocks. Just to let you know, we found a lot of them. And when I see this happen, the biohavens of the world, the CRSPs of the world, we were long all these. 
But when you see these just go crazy like ALXN, we were long at the trend line break, usually then they take their profits in these stocks and start going for the cheapies. They start going for the fates of the world. Look at that. We liked it down here. So once they go for the, uh, the 300 ones, they start going for the 40s. And then they start going for the tensies. Then they start going for the twosies. So I'm just telling you that when you saw this, like Jinko Solar going nuts, then they go for the BEs of the world and the Ballard Powers of the world. Now, believe it or not, Ballard Power could go even higher. So we're going to watch the BEs, the Ballard Power, and then we're going to go to real cheapy stocks like HUGE, a $2 stock. This has had its moments. I'm just telling you, we have a whole list for paid subscribers of these small ones, but HUGE is one of them, uh, BE is one of them, and then you could go to some that haven't moved yet in the $30 to $50 range. But we're going to play a lot of the small stocks that have strike prices right around where it's playing. Huge has two and a halfs. I'm telling you, they're great bangs for the buck. So if you like this video, if you make some money off this video, sign up for the 10-day free trial. Then you'll see all the ideas I'm coming up with. Like I said, huge. I'll give you a couple. CKPT, we like those. And uh, so those are two of them we're watching in here. Uh, I think these could really move if they get out of their way, look at this. You have the reversal candle, you have the inverse head and shoulders, but you got the stop at the resistance. So if it gets over this resistance, it could go higher. Those are the type of ideas. I have like 20 of them that I need to monitor. So have a great rest of your weekend. Take care.